All right, next up we're gonna talk about digital effects engines on the mixer. What they do is add reverb or a delay, 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 delay. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to change those settings and apply them and uh, teach you a couple tricks that will make things easier for you when setting up your reverb settings, uh, digital effects settings. All right, right from the get-go here, first thing we're gonna to do to make your life easier is the way the way the effects are set up, you got effects A and effects B, and they're set up to um, when you select them. The default is that they're set up to go as they're assigned to just the main. So when you turn up the effects A knob, more reverb goes out of the you know more of that effect is applied to your main mix and applied to your um, aux, aux channels if you have uh, digital effects applied to them and if you are uh, turning up the effects B knob that sends more to both the auxes that have effects going to it and the main. Now what I like to do is uh, instead of having it go to the main is select effects A and we're going to route that to uh, if, if you're not using a couple of your subgroups this is really handy. Um, let's route effects A We'll turn off the main so it's not going to the main. We're going to assign it to subgroup 3. And then over here on subgroup 3, we're going to assign subgroup 3 to the main. Now, what this just allowed us to do, I'm going to do the same thing to effects B. Take it off in the main, make sure it's not going to the main. I'm going to assign it to subgroup 4. And over here on subgroup 4, I'm going to assign subgroup 4 to go out of the main. So now, I can set the amount of uh, effect for each of the effects engines up there with the knob, and that's going to affect, uh, I'm going to be able to adjust that to um, how much I want going to the aux channels. But then, I have independent control and easier access control down here on the subgroup faders. You'll see on my mixer, I actually I labeled uh, effects A and effects B, I, I always have effects A set as a reverb and I always have effects B set as a delay. And so down here on subgroup 3, I actually labeled that subgroup as reverb and subgroup 4 I labeled as delay. And now I can, rather than messing with knobs up there for different songs, different uh, effects, I can quickly just reach down and I can turn up and down reverb in between songs when they're speaking if I don't want as much verb turn it up or down and also delay. I can adjust how much is in there. Um, so that's just a cool little trick to make things easier for setting um, levels of effects. Now if we're going to select the effects we're going to use, we're going to tap this effects button. Now on the screen here, you'll see we got effects A and effects B. Um, effects A, you can go through a bunch of uh, presets here and find one that sounds cool. So I like um, like a plate verb and so we'll hit recall and find a plate verb we want to try. You can listen to that, see if you like it. If you don't like it, just keep scrolling through. You know, you can try an arena if you want. Hit recall. And that's gonna look it's gonna load up that effects if we're selecting effects A, it's going to load it up to effects A, and that's what's going to come out more or less when we turn up, if you're routing it to subgroup, it's going to come out that subgroup. Now, if we want to affect effects B, we got to hit, when we're in the effects setting, we've got to hit the next button until we get down to effects B. And now we can change effect B, find something we like, um, I usually like doing a a uh, mono short uh, short slap delay um, for my effects B, and so I'm gonna hit recall. Now, also um, effects A, just so you know, like I said, I usually like doing a plate verb on there. So this is my typical setup: plate verb on effects A and a uh, uh, short slap or some sort of mono delay on effects B. And if you have effects B selected, um, one really cool feature on this mixer is the tap button. Now a delay, as you know, is uh, um, 
simple terms is an echo. It comes after the person's after he's already said it. Now the time here is how long after the person said it that it delays. And some delays repeat multiple times, some delays just repeat once. But this is how long it takes before it repeats. Now what's really cool is getting that delay time synced with the beat of the song. So you can see when I tap this, those numbers change. So you can tap along with the beat of the song if you want the delay to match the tempo of the song. Um, you can do, uh, if, if the song is slower, you can do a double tap to the song. But that way, your delay is in sync with the beat of the music and doesn't sound off. Um, it actually goes along with the beat of the music. So that is how you select your effects and um, you know, choose your delay time. Now the other thing you have available here is uh, sending the effects to the auxes. Once again, this is easier to do um, in the iPad app um, or uh, on the VSL software, but it's also doable on the mixer. So we're going to select system and let's see here. been a while since I've done this. Yeah, that's not where I want. Um, okay, that's where I want. In the effects page. So we're on effects. We're going to go page down. We've got effects A. This is aux assign. Effects A, effects B. To aux out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are the auxes. I have on the mixer, um, each one go into a monitor mix. If there's an arrow down on here, it means that I'm sending that effect to those auxes. So on this mixer, I have effects A going to aux out one and two. Now those are my stereo auxes. So um, I had some of my people complaining that I had there was too much reverb building up because it was going for uh, each of the other individual channels. So I just added some of the reverb to um, those channels. Now the way you select the on or off is turning the knob. So if it's like that, there is no reverb, none of effects A is being sent to aux one. It's like that, then that that effect, if effects A is being sent to aux one. We just press next and go across there and select whether or not we want that effect to be sent to that aux. So if, we, if somebody said, I would like some uh, effects A sent to aux four, we're gonna go across to aux four, I'm gonna turn that on. If uh, I say I would rather not have it in aux 2, I'm going to go across there, turn that off. When we scroll through there, when we come across, it jumps down to effects B. We can turn this, choose to send effects B to certain aux channels or not. 